Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you a rather unexpected packing video. This is a trip that I am leaving on in just a few days. I'm actually not vlogging this trip. It's totally personal. Um, we are going to Disneyland in California, so I will be putting a little bit of footage up on my Disney Focus channel about this trip. I'll be doing um, a hotel review and just kind of sharing about the Christmas magic at Disneyland, but I'm not doing daily vlogging. So this is really just a trip for me and um, one of my sons is going with me that does not ever like to be on the channel. So you won't see any footage of him at all. And I'm really weirdly looking forward to it. I mean, I guess not weirdly. I don't remember the last time I went on a Disney trip and didn't vlog at all. It's been a minute. So all I'm going to be doing is B-roll and definitely capturing some moments that I can share with you guys, but not in a traditional vlogging style. And I think as someone who loves travel personally and now has made it my job, I think the fact that I'm so enthusiastic about this is telling me I probably should do this more often, but I did want to share with you guys what I'm taking with me. I thought it might be interesting for you to see kind of how I pack when it's just for me. I don't have any work commitments. I don't have any, like, I don't know, professional dinners. I've got nothing. It's just me and someone that I love and what that looks like. So let's look at what I'm taking. Okay, so I already have my away suitcase out. I have not pulled out my other packing cubes yet, but I've already got in here my pajamas and socks and underwear and bras, and those are in those two packing cubes. And even though this is not filled yet, this is my small away toiletry kit, I still like to put it in the day or two before I go to make sure I have you know ample room for everything. So yeah, this is the bigger carry-on from away, I might change my mind and go with a smaller carry-on, but I know for a fact that the plane that we're going to be on accommodates this just fine, so why not? Because, you know, I might decide to shop. And then over here on the bed, I have everything laid out, and honestly, full disclosure, I wasn't even sure I was going to film a packing video until about five minutes ago, so this is literally my process, putting all the outfits together to make sure I have everything that I need. So, I have this really cute hat. It is going to be chilly in California while we're there. Lows in the 50s, high 40s to low 50s in the mornings, and then in the low 60s in the afternoon. So layers are going to be really important, and I do think I'm going to want this hat. This was my first Love Your Melon hat. They donate a big chunk of their proceeds to child cancer research, and I had seen other people wear them. And now that I own one, I've basically worn it every single day. I just love it. This old pom-pom comes off and I've actually ordered the Mickey Mouse one of theirs that's black and has the two little Mickey pom-poms, but it hasn't come yet. So I'll bring this one unless that other one comes. And then I have just a black t-shirt, some black jeans, and my um, Mickey spirit jersey, which they call it a spirit jersey on the website, but it's definitely more of a sweater. I wore this in Florida and I love it. So that's one outfit. And then over here, uh, we have, um, these are my green quilted mouse ears from BB Brooke. I love these. And I got this top from Stitch Fix recently and look how perfect. Ah, I just think that's such a fun Christmassy vibe. And then I'm going to pair that with just this very basic black sweatshirt and these jeans. And then this is just a t-shirt and a sweatshirt like to have for backup. That's my DVC member sweatshirt because you never know. And then this is another outfit, another pair of BB Brook ears with the scrunchie that matches this really beautiful cashmere sweater. Uh, Nottam is a really great brand. They're very... Um, what I want to say, transparent about where their cashmere is made, how their cashmere is made. Um, this is my second or third sweater from them. And cashmere is just really practical when it's going to be chilly, but then may warm up a little bit. It actually breathes really well. And I loved the color with these ears. Isn't that just perfect? And then just a little white t-shirt from J. Jill to go underneath that. I just picked this one up, in fact, the other day and I love it. And then um, another pair of jeans. Now, normally, Yes, I could wear my jeans twice, but when I'm in theme parks, I, you just never know. Like you're sitting in gross stuff and whatever. So I like to have a fresh pair of jeans for each day. And then over here are the other things I'm taking. My fan is all in its package. You guys know how committed I am to my travel fan. 
I decided to go with this same Kipling backpack that I used uh, in Florida last time for my park bag. It just worked so beautifully with my little BB Brook charm on there. My wide mouth swell water bottle. I love this because it's not too big. Uh, then this is my blue salt three yard wrap. I adore this thing. It is so, so very, very soft. It feels like cashmere to the touch, but it's machine washable, dog hair not included. That came from my house. Don't worry, not from Blue Salt. This I will wear on the airplane, but I also brought an, a lighter weight scarf uh, because it's really, really pretty, but I, it takes up a lot of room if I'm not actually wearing it to throw in my bag. So I'm also taking this little black, which obviously I need to go after that with a lint brush. Holy moly, because you could tell I wore that to walk the dog. So lint brushes for everything. Um, or Yeah, that needs to get up that dog hair. But this one is just a little Levi, um, you know, regular scarf. So I'm taking that. This little lightweight jacket just to have as an added layer. Um, I will probably just throw this in my backpack if I need it on the airplane. My packable coat, because as I said, it's going to be one of the mornings. I think the low is 41. So that is definitely, if I'm going to be outside, I need a packable uh, puffer jacket. So that's what that is. Some little gloves with the tech fingers, because if I'm at Disney and I need gloves, I also always have to use my phone at Disney, as we know because you need your phone for everything at Disney. Um, my charger, that is also necessary because we always need our phones at Disney. Even if I'm not filming, we still need a portable charger. My AirFly, uh, which goes with me everywhere. You guys know this is what enables me to use my Bluetooth noise-canceling headphones with the in-flight entertainment on the plane. I will link this below because you guys always ask me about it. You just plug it right into the in-flight entertainment and it will pair beautifully with your AirPods. And then, of course, uh, this beautiful thing from, I can never remember the name, Mophie, which is the three-in-one travel charger. If you are still looking for a gift for someone who travels, this is, I really should have put this on my gift list for travelers. AirPods are, I'm sorry, excuse me, your watch can charge there, your phone can charge there, and if your AirPods are the kind with a magnetic thing, they can charge there, all with just one piece and just one cord. So this is fantastic for travel. So that is going as well. And then this is the secondary bag that I'm taking. I showed this in that gift guide. This is the first time she's going on a trip, so I'm kind of excited about it. Um, if you saw on Instagram, I got so... I, I totally fangirled over this bag because I did not realize when I bought it, this is the Away Everywhere backpack, that it opens like a clamshell like that. So it's super easy to pack everything in. So um, I, I just made a mess showing you everything. So let me put those back into neat piles again and get them into their packing cubes and we'll be ready to go. for a couple days yet. You're fine. So here's everything all packed up. I did pull out my Stony Clover um, packing cube. My shoes are actually in there, so I do use them sometimes, even though I think they're overpriced, but they are super cute. And then I have my little backpack, 
my packing cubes with underwear, socks, and pajamas, and bras, my toiletry kit, and then I still have more room on this side, so that's good. And then in here, I have both pairs of mouse ears and that one black scarf. And then this is the packing cube that has all of my actual clothing and my little fan. And I still have room over here. So in case I do decide to do some shopping, the other thing I'm always very comfortable doing is checking this bag on the way back and taking a shopping bag and my secondary item. Or if I bring a tote, um, this time I don't think I am. I don't actually plan on doing any shopping, but you know, you never know. And then this is all packed up and ready to go. I did use the lint roller that was desperately needed on that scarf. Um, and this is out because I will actually wear this so it doesn't need to go in here. The only thing I have left to put in here mm -hmm. is I will take either that fanny pack that I use on the airplane or my little coach crossbody. Um, it is like a four hour flight. So I'm leaning towards, uh, the little fanny pack. I think that's most likely what I will take. I'll go grab that and show it to you guys. Here's my little fanny pack, total Amazon knockoff, no name. Um, it can either be a waist pack or you can wear it as a crossbody. and I will wear it on the flight itself um, so that it's super easy and convenient for me to get into my AirPods, my lip balm, all of that. I have not reloaded this up yet. It's still got a few things in it from my last trip, uh, but I need to reload that. So that's one thing I need to make sure and put on my list. And that's really it. Like that is everything that I will take with me. Um, we're really only, because the flight is so long, we're literally there three full days because we have our day that we travel. And then I'll wear uh, probably my Spanx. I have that one piece jumper thing that I like to wear um, and uh, my denim jacket and that um, on the plane. And then on the way back, I'll wear whatever pair of jeans is still in good shape and probably that pink shirt and that blue uh, top that I showed you. Um, I'm taking two pairs of tennis shoes and here's why. Um, three days, it'll be a lot of walking. And so I'm taking my car Yumas and also my ultra running because I find if, if I just have some that I can change out of that aren't um, the same shoe, um, my feet don't get quite so fatigued. So other than that, that is really it. I mean, it's a simple trip. I've been where we're going a million times. I am staying in a new category of a hotel that I've stayed in before. So I'm kind of excited to bring you guys the room tour and all of that, but that will all go up over on my Disney channel. So it is a holiday trip. Could not be more excited to see all of the decorations in California. And um, yeah, that's today's video. Um, this December is just ticking along as it is prone to do. So I hope you enjoyed it today. Make sure you subscribe. I will have everything linked below if you want to shop anything that I showed you. Um, like I said, this is a personal trip and these are all things that I personally use, paid my own money for and use when I travel for work, but also when I travel just for fun. And that's what this is, just for fun. I need more fun in my life and I think you do too. So whatever you're doing, speaking of fun, I hope you're finding joy and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.